But we are going to begin with some breaking news this morning out of Ukraine. According to President Volodymyr Zelensky, a Russian, a, a Russian attack on a city in the eastern part of the country has killed at least 16 people. The attack comes as Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in Kyiv this morning for an unannounced visit. It's a public show of support for the nation as its counteroffensive against Russia continues. So MTS Tayeb is in Kyiv, where Blinken is meeting with Ukrainian officials. Uh, MTS, good to see you. Um, we want to talk about the Secretary of State, but first let's start with this attack on, on a city in the eastern uh, part of the country. What can you tell us? Hi, Marie, we've got a pretty horrifying situation unfolding in the eastern Donetsk region, where in the city of Konstantinivka, a Russian missile attack targeted a market, killing 16 people. As you correctly point out, uh, President Vladimir Zelensky has put out a statement that uh, you may be looking at it now. Uh, and in it, he says that a regular market, shops, a pharmacy, people who did nothing wrong, uh, uh, you know, many wounded, and unfortunately, the number of casualties may rise, again confirming that 16 people killed so far in this attack and ending his statement by saying this Russian evil must be defeated as soon as possible, end quote. Uh, and it really just underscores the fact that here in Ukraine, although this counteroffensive, which is now entering its fourth month, is sort of grinding on and many have described it as a stalemate, these horrific attacks still continue and so many people are losing their lives. Emory. Yeah, it's a good reminder of what war really is. You know, it's a sort of it's a form of terror. Um, I want to talk about uh, the Secretary of State's visit. Now, he does not have to show up in Kyiv in order to announce additional aid. So why is he? What's significant about this? You're absolutely right, Amory. This is the most high-profile visit by a top U.S. official since the start of that offensive again uh, four months ago. And as we've been saying, it's been a pretty tough slog for the Ukrainians. You know, over the last 18 months, we've been reporting this war so intensely. You know, we saw this incredible sort of David and Goliath uh, uh, sort of situation here in the country where Ukraine, which was uh, outnumbered and outgunned, really was just a able to do the impossible by pushing back Russia in so many different ways. And yet here we are in this counteroffensive and things are not going very well. Uh, so Secretary, uh, rather Secretary Blinken coming here to this country at this time, he said it himself. This is a, sh a sign of the unwavering support that the U.S. has for Ukraine in this moment. But we have to say that as he was arriving here in Kyiv, the capital, uh, a Russian missile attack uh, took place in the early hours of this morning. They were all intercepted by Ura or, sorry, Ukrainian air defense systems, uh, knocking those missiles out of the ground, but it scattered debris uh, all over several neighborhoods. So really underscoring the fact that it's not just the east in the country we're seeing the horrors of this war. It's also here in the capital where Secretary Blinken now is. Emery. And so let's talk about this aid. You know, you're right about the counteroffensive that it is grinding on. And, and some have, you know, expressed concern about continuing to fund a counteroffensive that doesn't seem to be able to sort of turn the corner. What sort of aid uh, are, can we expect to hear from Blinken? Yeah, it, again, the, the words a tough slog seems to be coming up. Uh, what we know or what we understand is that Secretary Blinken is going to announce uh, around a billion dollars in additional support for Ukraine. Around 175 million of that will be direct military support. Uh, and we have to remember that over the last 18 months, the U.S. has uh, provided uh, Ukraine with well over 40 billion dollars in military aid alone. And as we've been saying, uh, the Secretary Secretary uh, himself speaking earlier this morning, promising Ukraine, reassuring Ukraine that that support will continue, especially at this difficult time in this counteroffensive where the gains that we've seen in the past Ukraine make just aren't happening. In saying that, uh, the secretary did say that uh, he thought the, some of the, the gains that Ukraine had been making over the last few days had been significant, particularly in the southern Zaporizhia region. Uh, but again, 
when you consider all the fronts that Ukraine is fighting on, uh, they aren't kind of making the kind of gains they would like to be making, and they've been suffering pretty high casualties as well. All of this is to say that there's a lot of tension going on across this country, not just because of the conflict, but also politically as well. As we've been reporting over the last week, uh, Zelensky has replaced the defense minister. The new defense minister has just been uh, approved by parliament today. Uh, corruption be remains a big concern in this country. Ukraine, of course, wants to join NATO, wants to join the EU, but it still has a lot to do on that front before it can achieve that. But as we've been saying, Ukraine constantly reminded that this war is still continuing with that horrific attack in the east of the country, so far claiming 16 lives. Emery. It's terrible. MTS, thank you very much.